goes. I'll get the flat bit and just kind of knock that out. Off right there. Good to go. So just for a reference, there's the old part there. Obviously, here's the new. Um, of course, I didn't measure before I left. I eyeballed the part. Um, this is inch and a quarter. And what I picked up, 10 foot, of course. $33 worth or $30 worth is an uh, inch and a half. So it's just a little bit bigger. It should work. Arguments like it should be even better. Um, <clears throat> there may be one or two spots where I could have some clearance where I may have to kind of shave it or cut it. But that said, um, clearly it would have been nice if I actually measured it before I went in to get the part or to get the metal. Um, I believe they have this at Home Depot. I went to the metal supply that I normally go to. Um, I believe they have this in shorter um, or inch and, a, inch and a quarter in shorter lengths as well. But I just went ahead and got, uh, since I may have some additional work and do the other side, um, I just went ahead and picked up this at the metal supply. So here's the other side, um, other than it's a little thin right there, right there, and probably will break at some point, uh, I'm not going to replace it. I mean, it maybe would take me, you know, 30 minutes at this point. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I want to get into that. But right now, I'm inclined just to let it, let it go. We'll see how, uh, I'll go ahead and finish the other side completely just to see how it goes, put the batteries in maybe, and then decide whether I want to replace this. But it's pretty still, it's still pretty structurally sound, so it should be good to go. So I've got the piece crossbar cut. I did the first one too short, of course. So it's 10 and 3 quarters across. And uh, basically the distance from this edge to this edge for the battery is basically 10 and a quarter. The base of the battery, the one I have, is just, just shy of 10 and a quarter. Um, I wanted to go a little bit wider, but just kind of kept it the same. Um, what I did do is just verify the other side just to make sure. So basically the 10 and a quarter will fit inside of here, just to be clear. So the inside distance is 10 and a quarter. And so, basic clamped in place, drilled a hole. I debated back and forth on how many rivets to use. I wanted to use basically two. Uh, my concern was, would be getting the uh, rivet gun too close in here or unable to uh, you know, get a good rivet in there. So I think one will be fine. I guess we'll find out. So there it is all riveted in. It feels very secure, so I'm pretty confident. I mean, I know just moving it with your hand or trying to move it with your hand is really not that much force. And then when you get the batteries in there, um, it's a different story. However, I'm pretty confident that that's gonna hold just fine. If it changes, I will, uh, if it breaks or anything, I'll update the video. So I'm actually thinking more and more about doing that side over there just while I have it out, so I'll probably go ahead and do it. Um, now I'm just going to try to fit the battery in. There you go. There's a look just uh, on each side how much clearance you have in the battery, so I'm pretty happy with the, with the fit. Alright, so the driver's side is done. Just like anything else, uh, you know, the first time you do something, it takes a while. So when I did that side over there, maybe, I don't know, <clears throat> hour, start to finish. This side, maybe 35 minutes. So I'm glad I went ahead and did it. I mean, part of me almost wants to do the other ones, but it's just, I mean, they're they're in there, they're good, they're fine. Just kind of creating to work for myself. But this one definitely was uh, corroded a little bit, so I'm glad I went ahead and replaced that one. So anyways... They are ready for batteries, and I'll start uh, buttoning this thing up. I went ahead and got another solenoid. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. Uh, buggy's gone wild, and uh, battery tie-down, so should be up and running here soon. 
So here's a mistake that I made you can learn from. If you look at this bracket here, there are holes on the side of it. Those holes are for the battery tie-downs, or rods. Look on the side of mine. No holes. It's a lot easier to drill holes in it outside of the cart than in. So, a couple things. I could probably be just fine. I'll drill it in there. You can also drill out the rivets. Um, it's another option. I'll probably just try to drill it inside the cart. But um, Something, of course, I thought of. Meant to do it and just got involved in the project and did not. So um, go ahead and match up, drill your holes for the uh, battery tie downs before you put the uh, whole bracket in. Here's the finished product of the battery replacement.